Okay, in this um, video, I'm just going to show you how to make a texture for, texture deformer onto a, on a plane to be used as an accelerator for a bifrost uh, crashing wave um, system. So this is part of my learning on this whole thing. But as I'm, I'm going through, I'm uh, just making videos on the parts that I found challenging as a newbie to um, Maya. So all you do for this is pretty cool. Just hit new seam. I'm not going to save it. Um, so I, I bring up my outliner here too. I'm just going to hide that. So you'll probably be looking at a screen something like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be in modeling here, polygons. I'm going to click the uh, grid. That's going to pop up a small grid. And I'm going to make that larger. Now to do that, I go over to the channel box layer editor here. Now if you don't see this, by the way, just make sure so this, is, this right here is the channel box layer button. So these are the three things right now that are showing here. But anyway, we want to be on that. I'm going to click here, I'm going to click there, make sure I can highlight both of these together and just type in um, 10, okay, and then here I'm going to highlight both of these and if you don't realize what I'm doing there, it actually just changes both of them, otherwise you can just do each one individually. Uh, so now I have a decent sized grid, okay, no mystery there. So what I'm going to do now is add this deformer. Now I'm in modeling and I'm in deform and then I want to go for texture now where I got confused is I saw a texture deformer and that sounds like the same thing but this involves a paintbrush and you're painting your texture onto your um, surface here we're actually going to use a um, an ocean simulation of some kind that the, it's a map that they have in Maya so uh, it just took me it took me a while to find this because remember if you change this these things up here change. See, they all change. I mean, there's just different things. So I was in modeling. Maybe it's the same in all of them. I don't know. But let's just look real quick. It's in rigging. Is the deform there? Okay, it's still there too. So maybe you don't have to be anywhere. But this, just be aware that these do change up here as, as this over here changes. So anyway, I'm just, I was like the modeling, deform, texture. Okay, so the texture map got applied. Doesn't look much different though. All you see is this blue thing show up here. Now, if you go to the Windows Outliner, this little thing will pop up. Now, prior to me doing that to form texture, this was not there. So that gave me this little option here. So I'm gonna click that. And from there, I'm gonna go to the Attribute Editor over here. Okay, and again, if you don't see it, it's probably this box right here. Yes, it is, okay. So there's the attribute editor. And what I want to be is in, in texture deformer here. So I want to find that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a uh, ocean texture to this. So I click on this little thing and that will allow me to, instead of just doing this, um, you know, from, from no to lift, from no lift to uh, the strength of one, I'm going to use a texture deformer of ocean. So I click on that once. And now I have this ocean deformer that's applied to my texture deformer, okay? So it gets a little weird as to what's going on there. Um, but anyway, that you'll kind of see this as I go here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the transform uh, texture deformer handle. So I clicked on that, I'm gonna set the strength to 10, and then I'm gonna offset minus 10. Now before I do that, if I zoom out, you'll see that the plus 10 took it way up there. When I hit enter here, it now brings it down. But now it has some, um, movement on it. Okay, so I'm going to click this to go back into the texture. So this will bring me into the ocean texture. And the other way to find that um, is literally to just select your grid and you'll find a texture deformer and then back here and go to the ocean. <laughs> so several different ways to find these things. It gets a little confusing. So anyway, um, what you'll see here is if I scrub the timeline, nothing happens. And that's because it's not attached to this. So if I scrub time, you'll see that the, the thing deforms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click in there, hit the backspace button, type in equals frame divided by 50. Or if you want it to go slower, you can do it slower. So now it's actually taken the frame number and that's how it's creating the time effect of the ocean. So I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit more. I'm gonna deselect actually and get in there this way. 
Okay, so did you see what I did there? I just I clicked up no, nothing selected. I'm gonna highlight the handle, and the handle, then I can click into the uh, texture map right there, and now I can see the plane without the without the um, all the lines on it. Okay, so um, right here it's a uh, it's a pretty straightforward. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play and I'll show you. I can see this. Uh, if you take the wave height, you just raise it up a little bit, and then you bring the wave turbulence and bring it way down. That gets you something kind of nice. Now I'm not going to go all the way. If it's all the way down, it looks a little generic. So I'm going to leave it a little bit like that. See how there's this kind of wavy back and forth in there? Um, I think that'll look better. You can change some numbers here. I think the number of frequencies in the video I was watching had something like that. And you can play around with all these numbers and just get it the way you want. Now, this one's flowing to the left just by default. I'm like, well, how'd it get that? It gets it through this UV. How the UV is exactly set up here, I have no idea. All I know is to get to do what I want it to do. So if I hit minus one there, you'll see that it changes direction. And if I just clear this out and then put one here, it'll not go the way I want it to. I wanted it to come to the left here as the rolling waves are coming in. Because that's how I'm setting up my other scene that I'm working on. But obviously if this is minus one, it would go to, away from the scene here. So this is how you how you make this um, uh, linear deformer. We're going to use this as an accelerator then for a bifrost simulation. So I hope that was helpful and uh, kind of fun to do.